Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to what is essentially part two of our Kintaro video. Uh, if you missed the Kintaro video that went up yesterday, uh, be sure to check that out because it's going to explain some things um, from today. So Kintaro came with some very nice accessories which are the frozen arms for Sub-Zero. So we're going to be taking a look at those today. So let's just move big old Kintaro off to the side here. And this is going to be our Sub-Zero video. So what we have here is the, I believe it's supposed to be the Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 Sub-Zero. Um, I think it was in, it was in regular Mortal Kombat 3 as well, but on Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 you can also get the original Sub-Zero as well. And as we know, um, the Sub-Zero in Mortal Kombat 1 is a different Sub-Zero. That was uh, Kwai Liang. Uh, was the one from Sub Zero, but it's the Sub Zero from Mortal Kombat 2, and he was originally called Tundra. And in Mortal Kombat 1, the original Sub Zero died, he was killed by Scorpion, and he became Noob Cybot. So they are actually brothers. And uh, both inherited the frozen abilities from their grandfather, who had the abilities, and they are actually descendants from Outworld of. Cryomancers. There's the, the lore and story for uh, for Sub Zero, if you guys want to see it. So, um, we're going to try putting the arms on this Sub Zero first, uh, but we aren't going to keep them on him. Instead, we are going to swap them over onto our other Sub Zero. You can hear that these arms are stiff. Now, as I always say, stiff is good because it means that your figure will stay in place which is what you want to see so it's very very awesome and making it a positive effort to try not to say cool and try not to make frozen puns good lord that was a stiff arm uh, sometimes with strong collectibles it can feel like you're breaking your figure do not worry they are designed in such a way that you are able to do these sort of things without actually damaging your figure. You can essentially take strong collectible figures uh, apart and put them back together. So there we go, there is our very very nice um, Sub-Zero with his frozen limbs. And you can see that they are very nice and translucent. Uh, let's bring him up to the camera and let's focus in a little bit. There you can see, and if I put my hand behind it, you should be able to see um, the outline of the hand below. It's very, very nice to see how that all looks. It just, it gives such an added effect to these parts. And of course, uh, with the arm, also comes all the different hands. So let's, well, let's let's take a look at the hands first before we go put them on. So we have, if I can focus in, focus camera, camera, please, there we go. So we have the open hand, we have the palm hand, it's sort of like the, the karate chop or the prayer hand, whichever you want to call it. We also have our open clutch hand, where the fingers are all frayed. And then lastly, we have uh, what has been known as our tiger grip hand, which is from a sort of tiger, 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 tiger grip point where your fingers are curved but your hand is flat. So, the ones that we are going to be looking for are these ones, which is the tiger grip palm, just to show off what this looks like with our little frozen accessory. Uh, now I think the I think the frozen accessory came with the Mortal Kombat 2 Sub-Zero. I think the Mortal Kombat 3 one um, had the the ice shower version where it came with the entire frozen body cast they could use. So um, this is us using a few different Sub-Zero parts here together 
to create this awesome effect. So let's bring this back in. There is our um, our floor beam. So interestingly enough, it's only the second subject, it's only Kwai Lang that learned to do the the freeze the floor technique. I think because I think it's only I think it's only in Mortal Kombat 2 and in Mortal Kombat 2 Ultimate that he does it in the 2D games and then from later 3D games uh, he picks it back up again. So there we go, sort of, for all intents and purposes. There we are, very very nice to see, very awesome. Yeah, it's very Dan Hassan, very evil. <laughs> That's a wrestling uh, term, I don't expect all of you to get that, or any of you if I'm honest. I'm not sure how much stopover there's between wrestling figures and strong flight spools, especially Mortal Kombat, but there we go. So that is what he is supposed to look like, but that is not what we are going to be doing. This is not the end of the video, and this is not the end of what we're doing today. Instead, we're going to remove these arms once again, we're going to put the regular arms onto the Sub-Zero, and we are going to... Once again, once you've removed it once, you see it becomes much, much easier, much more manageable to clip that all back in there. It's such, almost looks like Sub-Zero is, is getting ready for a wrestling match in this, the, this, the position that he's in, um, which is not what we're going for. But the frozen arms, we're not going to put on this Sub-Zero. In fact, let's just put him over to the side and we'll, we'll pair him back up with his, uh, his little ace beam. Once again, there we go. Uh, this is this is the exact way that I display um, my sub zero figure. <laughs> In I know that I have people have been asking me to do uh, a video of showing off my collection, and yeah, maybe I'll do it at some point. But I have not got around to doing it just yet. Um, it's basically just a lot of shelves. Uh, there we go. So there, Sub Zero can stand at the side doing his frozen, his floor freeze, which I believe is down back, low kick. Um, and this is the one they were going to be swapping out here. So I've always wanted the frozen arms, and I could never get them. But um, after seeing the reviews and people saying that they're not good, they're not great, they're not fantastic, it put me off trying to go hard on trying to get it. So. Unfortunately, there isn't a grip hand, so the closest we're going to have to use is the frayed hand. We're going to have to hope that that works here. So, uh, let's swap the hands over so that they are the correct hands in the first place. So we need the left hand to be the closed hand. That's going to be there. And we need the right hand to be our grip hand. And of course, we don't have grip hand. Gonna have to make do with this one. Um, but the other thing we are going to do is we are going to take these little gauntlets off on the side here uh, that you can see. We're going to remove those, these parts here. We're going to put them onto here and we're going to see how that looks as well. So this is what we are trying to do here today. You can also see that there's actually a, diff a skin colour difference between uh, the two Sub-Zeros, if you put them up next to one another, you can see that these arms are just a little bit darker than these ones. And this is because this is a recolor of Scorpion. That is where that comes in. So I'm hoping that it's going to look okay. There we are. The arm comes off nice and easily. Uh, so we're going to, of course, remove our frozen spine and skull. So there is what the grip hand looks like. Uh, this is the one that we don't have on Fortunately, so we're going to have to uh, work around, but we are going to take off this hand here. We're going to take off this part here, it just slides off, and we're going to put that back on so that we do not have to go losing the two parts together. And we're going to attach this to here. We're going to see how this looks. And I'm hoping it's going to be nice looking. It seems to be. It seems to be. Dare say, I think it looks nicer than having the whole blacked out area. 
And let's try clipping that in there. And does the skull going to grip? It isn't going to grip as such, oh my goodness. Um, but I think I can maybe get this to stay in such a way that if I don't touch it, then it would be fine. Um, oh my goodness. Well, this this is going to be a display piece, uh, not for moving, uh, for of course, uh, very very obviously. Would it be easier to do it from there? Oh, this is this is tricky what I've set up, but we have faith that we can, we can. And I just knocked the plastic out there, um, but there we go. There we go. Um, so that is what it looks like. Uh, let's bring him up to the camera a little bit closer and focus in on him. And I think that looks very awesome. You can see that it is translucent all the way across. I think that's I think that's very, very awesome. I think that's, that's pretty badass. <laughs> uh, so let's take this off just now. Uh, we're going to do the same with the other arm. Uh, so what this part here, this part here, goes into the shoulder joint like so. Uh, it's not meant to come out. That's what your butterfly joint is. Uh, do not worry if these parts fly off. <sighs> <laughs> Don't worry if these parts fly off. I know it is an expensive figure, um, but uh, everything with Strom Collectibles is, uh, for all intents and purposes, detachable. Um, so you don't need to worry too much about your stuff. Of course, worry uh, with enough concern uh, that you don't want to damage your expensive, expensive figurines. But don't feel that you have to worry overly about such a thing. because everything can click right back into place like so and there we have it there we have it. a very very awesome very I'll just say it a very cool sub zero with all of his majesty actually the sub zero is the one that sits uh, right at the front of my display uh, this frozen Sub-Zero skull here comes from the McFarlane um, skull. It's the McFarlane, the blue Mortal Kombat 11 Sub-Zero. It's where this one comes from. So that is how that is going to look on my display. Something like that. Except I'll maybe, I'll maybe see what I can do with the hand and try and make that look a little bit nicer. But there we have it. There is the frozen arms of Sub-Zero, which is a very, very cool display. Um, especially if you can get some light behind it. It makes it look very nice to see the translucency of it. Uh, I love that it gives you all the different hands. They didn't just they didn't just cheap out. They didn't just go. Uh, you get one set of hands. That's you know that that's your lot. You know they were like no. Let's make this into an actual proper set of arms for the people, uh, which I always love that um, Strong Collectibles goes that extra mile to make these things. You know like uh, the extra added stuff. I mean they're obviously designed by people that are fans of Mortal Kombat and such. So yeah, there, there it goes. That's me trying to show it off. Um, very quickly, let's just show off big old Sub-Zero here on our gimmick and we'll finish the video off there as such. So there we have it folks. Um, I really hope that you all enjoyed. If you did enjoy this video, please give me a like, share and subscribe. And if you are subscribed, make sure you click that notification icon so you can see when more of these videos go up. And if you enjoy Strong Collectibles, do remember we've got a Strong Collectibles playlist 
uh, in our playlist below that you can find just by clicking on the grand cat. Um, if you only want to see strong collectibles, just go through there. If you only want to see just unboxing videos, we've got another playlist for those. And of course, we've got plenty of other things on the channel that you might want to check out. Various different games, various different board games, various different computer games, and so on and so forth. So plenty to keep you guys nice and happy and occupied. I always do appreciate the subscribes and I do love hearing comments from you guys as well. I do try to, pl to reply to all the comments, but YouTube doesn't give me notifications of everyone's comments, so um, if I don't reply to you, it's probably because of YouTube rather than because of me uh, ignoring you. But that is it for this little video, folks. I really hope you all enjoyed. And with that said, we'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.